All you need to know about CPD. The SAPC CPD system, the Did You Know segment. Did you know that registered pharmacists have to submit six CPDs every year for compliance? Failure to submit CPD entries may result in a change in your designation to a non-practicing pharmacist on the register or disciplinary action being instituted against you if you are a responsible pharmacist or a tutor. To make things easy for yourself, you can submit one CPD entry every two months. Did you know that the SAPC CPD system is not point-based? You do not need to upload evidence to your CPD submissions. Also, did you know that complying with your CPD requirements helps you stay abreast with the happenings and changes in the profession? Why are CPDs necessary? While pharmacists are healthcare professionals whose professional responsibilities include seeking to ensure that people derive maximum therapeutic benefit from their treatment with medicines. This obligation requires pharmacists to keep abreast of developments in the pharmacy practice and the pharmaceutical sciences, professional standards requirements, the laws governing pharmacy and medicines, and advances in knowledge and technology relating to the use of medicines. This can only be achieved by an individual's personal commitment to continuing professional development. CPD showing you flames? Don't worry, we have a dedicated CPD blog on the SAPC website that shows you how you can submit your CPDs. Visit www.sapc.za.org forward slash CPD blog for help. Good luck! Remember, plagiarism constitutes unprofessional conduct. You learn every day, so why not submit CPDs while at it? Hashtag CPD's easy, hashtag CPD Friday, hashtag SAPC.